Brian and Bobby Houston are the pastors of Hillsong Church in Sydney, Australia. They're known for their massive conferences and lively music, with more than 50 million people singing their songs every week. Back in the early days, our focus was our city, and then there was this beyond factor. Their 40-year journey hasn't been without challenges, but today, Bobby has blossomed in her role as the founder of Hillsong's Color Conferences for Women. In her book, Stay the Path, Bobby shares some of the mile markers that have shaped her life and helps us navigate the bends and curves we'll face in our own lives. Well, Bobby is here all the way from down under, and we are so happy to have you <laughs> with so us happy today. To be here. You're gorgeous. Oh, you're nice. Here's some stats <laughs> that just kind of throw me. Okay. It's like 40 years in ministry, 90,000 attending Hillsong churches, 50 million people singing your music all around the world. I mean, in the did you ever have a clue in the beginning that God was going to do this? Absolutely not. No idea at all. And if you ask Brian, he'd say the same thing. No idea. <laughs> so, you know, it's actually just testimony to the grace of God and that exceeding abundant and above factor that is our God. What went on in those early years of the 40 years of ministry that has helped you to stay the path? Well, I think at the end of the day, we, we've never actually departed from what is the convictions of our lives, which is to love God, love people, mm -hmm. and love life. In fact, we have that a big banner in our, one of our campuses that actually um, says that. Love God with all your heart, soul, and strength. Love people. Mm -hmm. And actually love life. Yeah. You know, because sometimes... Absolutely. And sometimes, you know, the church landscape can be a bit sort of yeah. sad and serious. And, you know, there's moments of truth and there's moments of reality, and we're not, yes. not saying that it's not but there's more joy th than there is yeah. the other and there's more wonder than there is the other, so. And, and sometimes in the difficult times, you have to have developed the habit of looking for that wonder because it is always there, but you Sorry. know, circumstances can kind of blind you for the moment yeah. or for a season. You talk about something that happened to you in 1999 that you say was the greatest <laughs> battlescape of your lives personally, right. but also of the church, yeah. share that. It was, a, it was a difficult season. It, I mean, it really was, you know, um, I guess the sins of Brian's father mm -hmm. and his failings. Um, and so that came to the foreground and became known that he, um, you know, many, many, many years earlier in a broken place, um, hurt others, um, abused children, which is just, you know, unacceptable. Yeah. And so those accusations became known and to, you know, to Brian as a son, to us as a church, to a movement and to a nation. And so the repercussion of that and the fallout of that was quite enormous. And so that was a season that we had needed to navigate. And I think it was a fiery season. Mm -hmm. And How did you know what to do? Because that's such an unusual scenario. It wasn't something you had any idea about. So no, it wasn't, wasn't like you were prepared. How did you seek the Lord? How did you navigate those troubled waters during those years? Well, I mean, I was, you know, I mean, you go into shock and you go, you have all sorts of um, emotional reactions to that. Brian rose up as a, as a man of integrity and truth and he led our family, our church, um, the movement that he was oversighting at the time and our nation through it to the best of his ability. And I think he did it with great integrity. And I think all these years on, people would actually say that also. For me, I just sought to, to be the best wife that I could. I dealt yeah. with it in my own heart. But it's like anything, you know, when you do have things come that are unexpected, I mean, you can either implode and fall mm -hmm. off the path or you can look up and you can draw on that well of salvation. You can draw from the encouragement of those alongside of you mm -hmm. and, and those who stand with you in season and out of season. And you, you, you discover that by the grace of God, there's more in you than you realize. Yeah. And I think that sometimes is the miracle path that God takes us on. He goes, do you know what? I, can, I, didn't, I didn't orchestrate this. I, I'm not the author of this in your life, but trust me, I can use this, because yes. we live in a fallen world. Yeah. I can use this to prove myself yeah. in you. And to show others yeah, through totally. what I do Hope in so. you. You say in your book, Stay the Path, listen to the wind words. What do you mean by that? I love that. <laughs> it's not an orchestra. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <Okay>. Music up. <laughs> yeah. No, it really, um, for me, bottom line, it came from Revelation, where, you know, um, the seven letters to the seven churches. Mm -hmm. And it says, in the message, it says, listen to the wind words blowing through the churches or wow. listen to the spirit blowing through the churches. And I think those, you know, revelation, those seven letters to those seven churches were what 
were perfect words to mm -hmm. those churches in the day, right? They needed And I think it. today we're living in an era of his um, spirit poured out. Yeah. And I believe God's spirit, God wants to speak to us. He wants to help us. He gave us the Holy Spirit. And I think there are wind words, life, truth, mm -hmm. blowing um, through the churches. So put yourself through, in a place yeah. where they're blowing over you, yeah. you know, in Exactly, community. and look for them and listen for them because God, He wants to help us. He does, yes. It's not a mystery. He wants us to, um, you know, He wants us to win in life. He wants us to finish what He has begun in us. Yeah. Tell me about the women's conferences that you do because I know you have a special heart for women and I, I want to hear what God's doing with that. Yeah, I just think, again, I think we're living in a remarkable age, a, new, a great chapter in the body of Christ in the church. And I think God is just um, aligning the church and bringing it to uh, as He intended, where we have men and women together. Mm -hmm. And I think the conference ultimately is about placing value upon womanhood. And that's broad and diverse. But within that, there is a welcoming of the feminine heart. There is a welcoming of what God has put within the feminine heart to the table so that the church can actually be who she needs to be and society can be who she needs to be. And I think it's a given that without women at the table, yes. um, society limps. Yes. Society limps and the church limps. And so I have given my heart and soul to this. I, I, I run it because it's, I, I felt it like a God directive in my heart. 21 years now. Wow. So we've just come wow. off the back of doing nine conferences around the world. Been away for wow. like eight or nine weeks. So um, it, ready, it's ready marvelous. Ready to go home, yeah. even though you've been blessed by it, I'm yeah. sure. The title, Stay the Path. Mm -hmm. Someone may be watching and listening right now that's saying, boy, I've gotten off the path. I've gotten yeah. so far off the path. I don't know if I can get back on it. Is it ever too late? Never, ever. And I would just say, hey, we empathize. You're not alone. Mm -hmm. I would say, sweetheart, if it's yeah. a gentleman or a woman, I would say, sweetheart, stand up, yeah. shake yourself off, find your bearings again, find your focus, yeah. and get back on the path. And saturate yourself in the Word of God. Read mm -hmm. the Psalms, read them aloud. Like get into good, strong fellowship and don't isolate. Yeah. Because the enemy's strategy is always to isolate us. Mm -hmm. And you know, it's not, no, come on. Well, when you we're can isolated, do this. we believe the lies a little more Absolutely. quickly. You yeah, know? Totally. Yeah. Well, I, I want you to know Bobby's book is Rich with Her Wisdom 40 Years in Ministry and God's Still Doing Amazing Things. I want to suggest you pick up a copy of this. It's called Stay the Path Navigating the Challenges and the Wonder of Life, Love, and Leadership. This is available wherever books are sold. Thanks, Wonderful sweetheart. to have you here. Lovely. Thank you. Thank you.